Hello everyone, my name is Oquandia and I am the Solutions Engineer at Electronique. Today we're going to be building a bot that is going to extract information from a database and place that information into an Excel file for further usage. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So the first thing that we will need to do starting off is to open up our programming tools. In databases, you'll see the connect to database activity. We're going to go ahead and drag that out and ensure that the flow connector is attached to the activity. Once we have that activity ready, we're going to go over to the properties and now start to define the perimeters. For the parameters, I have a little sticky note here with all of my database information, such as my host name, my port name, my database name, and also my login type. So let's go ahead and input this information here. We're going to start by choosing the database system. In this case, mine is going to be Microsoft SQL. And then we're going to go ahead and insert the host. I can copy this information from my sticky note as the host and paste that information into the host field. Now that we have that information there, we can go ahead and move on to the port information. So let's go ahead and copy the port. And we know that the database name here will be Electronique. Now I would go in to specify my login and password. To specify that information, I would go into my credentials management. These are all of my stored credentials and I would find the correct credentials, which would be my SQL credentials. Now that we're connected to a database, it's time to move on to the next activity, which will be execute query. For this activity, you would need the query, which has been populated inside of your database. So let's go ahead and find that query. I'm going to open up my database now. Inside of my Electronic database here, I'm going to go ahead and expand this tab. And where we see tables, I'm going to expand that tab as well. This is where we'll be able to find the table in which we're pulling information from within the database. So I'm going to go ahead and right click and then hit select top 1000 rows. Once you select that field, you'll now be able to see the query. So what you're going to do is copy this information starting at the select and then ending at the last piece of data. So let's copy that information. And now that we have that copied, let's go back into Electronic Studio Pro and paste that information there. So now that we have our query, we're going to add another activity. This is going to be found in your general and logic tools, and it's going to be the ability to assign value to variable. So I'll go ahead and drag that activity out here. Now that we have that activity out, we're going to go ahead and specify the parameters. I'm going to name this my DB data for database data. And for the value, we're just going to save the previous step result because we want to make the data from this query a variable. So we're able to populate that into our table. Now that we have that information, let's go ahead and open up our spreadsheet activities in tables and save table. This is going to give you the ability to save the information in which was pulled from the database into the table. So let's go ahead and start by identifying the perimeters. The first thing you would want to do is choose the path to the file. So I'm going to go ahead here and choose my path. And let's say we're going to save this inside of a new folder. And in this new folder, we're just going to name this DB data. Now we're going to give that file a name. This is going to be customer info. And then we're going to save that objective. 
now that we have a path to the file, we can go ahead and specify the parameters in which we'll be saving to the table. So let's go ahead and hit table, calculate a value, and this is where we'll be able to identify that the DB data from this variable is what we want to pull inside of that table. So I'm going to start here by entering some curly brackets and then clicking on my variable to ensure that that's the information that gets pulled to the table. Now that we have that workflow ready, we can go ahead and run it and ensure that the information is getting pulled to the table. Once that information is ran, I'll go ahead and insert my read table. Once I insert my read table, it's going to be reading that data back inside of Studio Pro. So let's go ahead and start with this portion before we go ahead and read the table. I'll go ahead and run this workflow now. Now that we have successfully ran that workflow, if we open up the console log, we can see the information and what happened with that specific run. As we can see, the bot started and finished successfully with a total execution time of five seconds. So now let's go ahead and use that read table to pull the information back inside of Studio Pro. I'll go into my spreadsheets and tables and read table. And I'm just gonna change the name of this first and this is going to be my results of db. And now let's go ahead to the read table and pick the path to the file. As we can see, it'll be the customer info, and I'll go ahead and hit open that file. And if we run that workflow again, we'll then be able to see inside of variables the table which is being pulled back from the information of the database. Let's go ahead and run that now. And as we can see, in the results of the database, you have the returned information that was populated from the query. You're also able to see this in a source value as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe to our channel. Happy automation.